What's up everyone? This video is on the difference between the standard response and the quick response fire sprinkler head. Let's take a look at these two heads. If you notice two different sized bulbs and that's it, you are correct. We have two reliable standard spray uprights. Everything is the same except for the bulbs. The standard response utilizes a five millimeter bulb while the quick response utilizes a three millimeter bulb. The deflector and the spray pattern are exactly the same. If you have a fusible link style element, you can look at its deflector to see if it's stamped with QR for quick response or SR for standard response. And that's how you can tell the difference. How is the response time measured? Response Time Index, RTI. The Response Time Index represents how rapidly the thermal element of a sprinkler responds when exposed to a defined hot air stream. The Quick Response's RTI is 50 or less, and the Standard Response's RTI is 80 or more. These numbers are figured out by performing a plunge test. Within the plunge oven is an airstream that is moving through a metal duct at a constant velocity and temperature. The time it takes in seconds is multiplied by the square root of the velocity and that provides us with our RTI. All right, so we did the visual differences. We went over how the response speed is measured. Now let's do a little history on the sprinkler head to see how we got to having a quick and a separate standard response sprinkler head. Then we'll go into how it's applied. Let's do it. Prior to 1953, sprinkler heads used an old style or conventional style deflector. Its spray pattern would throw up to 60% of its discharged water upwards, creating a very vertical spray pattern. In the early 1950s, we had an update. An improved deflector that created the umbrella-shaped spray pattern we know today. This spray pattern achieved a larger square footage of coverage. In 1958, NFPA 13 introduced the standard spray sprinkler, and this became the most commonly used fire sprinkler head. The need for fire sprinklers in residential occupancies is what sparked the innovation for creating a faster responding head. Preventing flashover and life safety was the number one goal. The residential sprinkler head was the birth of the fast response element. In 1981, the first residential sprinkler head with a fast response element was produced. The benefits of having a faster responding element eventually made its way into the commercial head. This created a fast response category of heads that have an RTI of less than 50. This includes the residential sprinkler, the quick response standard spray and extended coverage, and the early suppression fast response, ESFR. In 1996, the quick response was officially introduced in NFPA 13, used in all light hazard occupancies and also used in ordinary hazard occupancies. Speeding up response time was an update that creates more time for escape and decreases the chance of flashover. Tests have shown the quick response sprinkler can lower temperatures over 400 degrees compared to the standard response sprinkler. Now, let's take a look at how the different response times are applied, starting with the quick response. On this chart, you will see the hazard classifications on the left. 
Light hazard occupancy shows low for combustible loads in rate of heat release. All light hazard occupancies will use quick response fire sprinklers. The earlier the water is applied, the faster the fire is controlled with the operation of fewer sprinklers. Some examples of light hazard occupancies are an office and a school. When we move up to ordinary hazard, you can see the combustible loads and rate of heat release starts to climb to moderate and high. In ordinary hazard, quick response is allowed to be used when combustibility and rate of heat release is on the low to moderate side. For example, a parking garage. And if the garage is a dry system, it will also benefit from the quick responses, faster delivery time. When ordinary hazards combustibility and rate of heat release goes to moderate and high in ordinary hazard group two, you will use the standard response head. Examples are retail stores and storage rooms. The reason for switching to standard response is when combustibility and rate of heat release goes higher, it can cause too many quick response heads to operate at the same time. This would be very taxing on the system's pressure, causing the spray pattern to be less effective in controlling the fire. This has been proven in live fire tests. A smaller number of heads operating in the correct locations with the correct pressure gives much better results in controlling the fire. For this reason, quick response are not allowed in extra hazard occupancies. Combustible loads and rate of heat release goes to very high. Some examples are sawmills and plastic manufacturing. The goal is to control. Having the option of a quick and standard response sprinkler head gives a huge advantage in creating an effective fire sprinkler system. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. I'll catch you on the next one.